Hello folks, and I hope you're all keeping well out there. And if you've read the title, then yes, we're out after rabbits again tonight. But this time, I've left the FX Crown at home, and left it the spring part HW97. Well, so much for the stealthy approach. Anyway, I know by the comments that a good few of you out there like seeing me use the HW97. And since this ground hadn't been shot much for a while, and there was a good few rabbits on it, I thought I'd bring it along tonight and see if I could get anything with it. Now, I did see a few rabbits down the right hand side of the field once I entered it, but probably because I clanged them two gates together, I just seemed to keep pushing the rabbits away from me. But I did see a couple of rabbits on the left hand side of the field and decided to try for them. Okay, we'll do a wee bit of a gear check. The rifle is a Vyrach HW97 underlever spring powered air rifle which is on my FAC and I fitted a VMAC tuning kit too and it's running at about 12 to 13 foot pounds of energy with a 177 RWS superfield pellet. The scope is an MTC 3 to 12 by 44 Mamba light and it's fitted to the rifle using a one piece sports match mount. I am also filming through the Tacticam 5.0 and the FTS unit, which I was a wee bit hesitant putting on a spring part air rifle, but it seemed to manage the job nicely. By the time I stalked down the field, I could see four rabbits out feeding, the closest of which was 27 yards. My rifle zeroed for 30, so it should be a dead on hold. I give it a wee lip squeak to get it to raise its head and took the shot which looked good though I noticed two of the other rabbits were still out in the field though about ready to bolt into the hedge so I decided to make a quick reload or as quick as you can reload an underlever spring part air rifle and have a go at another one. The closest of which was about 40 yards, which should be the bottom of the central crosshair. Firstly though, I needed to knock the safety catch off, which is hampered slightly by the Tacticam, as I have it set up for my centre fire rifles. The shot hit, but this time the rabbit's reaction wasn't good. The only thing you can do in this circumstance, especially with a rifle that you can't reload terribly quick, is to get over there as quick as possible. The first rabbit was lying stone dead in the grass, but when I walked over to where I'd last seen the other rabbit, I couldn't see it anywhere. Then spotted it about 10-15 yards out in the field. Thankfully though, I had reloaded the rifle en route and took care of the job. The shot had hit a little low, though I'd say if I'd been using my FAC FX Crown, that rabbit would have never knew what hit it. I had been practising with the HW97 all week, but it looks like my marksmanship still isn't up to spec yet. I'll give it a quick wipe in the grass to help clean the blood off, then give its belly a wee squeeze to help get rid of any unwanted pee before we put it into the game bag. Okay, now over to rabbit number two, or one, or that one there anyway. The pellet placement in this one didn't look much different from the other one, but this one went down as clean as a whistle, and it looks to be a right big fat doe. As with the other one, we'll give its belly a wee massage to get rid of the excess pee, then bag it up and move on to the next spot.
Oop, better remember to cock and reload the rifle before I move off. That's one thing about working with PCPs. They're so quick and easy to cock and reload. They have me spoilt. Now, this farm really only is the five fields. And I use the big bottom rough field, which really doesn't have any rabbits in it, as dead ground to sneak round to the bottom of another field where I know there is plenty of rabbits. But of course when I got there and had a kick round one of the big gorse bushes, I found that the closest of any of the rabbits that was there was about 75 yards, which was far too far for me with a spring powered air rifle. At this point I really wasn't sure what to do. I had a good idea there would be more rabbits further to my left at the other corner of the field. But to get there without spooking the rabbits on the right hand side I'd have to backtrack back through the rough field and round in behind another gorse bush. Which is what I ended up doing. But in my haste to make up lost time working my way through the rough field I inadvertently spooked two rabbits that was round the back of one of the gorse bushes. There's one there, obviously, and the other one you can just see the tips of its ears in the long grass there. The closest one was 57 yards, which was still a wee bit too far for my liking to tell you the truth. So I tried to stalk in a wee bit closer, trying to get within about 35 yards. But the ground was quite rough and uneven underfoot, and the midges was chewing away at the back of my ear, which definitely wasn't helping things, and yes, I ended up spooking the two rabbits all together. Plus the rabbits down the right hand side of the field could now see me, and were sitting ready to pounce into the hedge at any second. So, as you can imagine, I was a bit annoyed with myself at this point, but decided to continue on to the gorse bush and take a wee bit more care and attention in the way I went, but to be honest, I really thought it was a lost cause, as every rabbit in the field knew exactly where I was and were probably busy pinning my location on Google Maps. Once I got to the gorse bush, I could quickly see with the rabbit dung and the closely cropped grass that this must be a popular spot. And while I was still looking at my feet for rabbit sign, as I walked round the corner of the gorse bush, guess what I saw? Yep, a rabbit, sitting about 20 yards out in the field. I guess he didn't get the memo. Steady now, steady now, stay on target. Now that's the way to roll a rabbit over. There's skilled hunters and there's jammy hunters and I think I'm a real jammy one after bumping into that rabbit. Okay, I just need to get over this overgrown ditch and barbed wire fence. At this point I'd wish I'd taken the subscriber's advice and brought a length of hose pipe to set in the top row of barbed wire. But we managed to traverse it without any incident. The wife will be pleased. Get your head out of the gutter. I just mean she won't have to fix the seat of my pants, trailers or whatever you want to call them. Looks like I hit this one just nicely at the base of the ear. And it's a nice young doe. Not just as heavy as the other two I shot, but it should still be good eating. Again, I'm giving it a quick flick to help remove all the congealed blood out of its ears before I throw it into the game bag. Blast it, midges! Trying to eat the head off me! Now, I did see one or two other rabbits after this, 
before I called it a night, but I never did manage to get within comfortable range of them, for the springer anyway. But then again, that's hunting for you, isn't it? Well, I was hoping to get more than just the three rabbits, as the first two were quite easy to stalk. But after that, things just didn't go to plan. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing the Springer out, and look after yourselves and take care, hey.